The upcoming comedy slasher film The Blackening is the latest from director Tim Story, who brought us Ride Along and Barbershop. It features a group of black friends who reunite for a Juneteenth getaway at a remote cabin in the woods, only to find themselves hunted by a twisted killer. Take a look. Put your hands up that you shoot with, count your what we with. do on Juneteenth. Oh, hell no. Where are you going? We look for the fuse box. What kind of house is this? No, no thank you. The blackening? Whoa. Jim Crow Monopoly. Probably runs on racism. Pick a card and save Morgan. What do you mean save Morgan? Joining me here in studio from the Blackening are Jay Farrow, Antoinette Robertson, and Melvin Gray. Good to have you all. Good to be here. A fun movie. I really enjoyed this movie. Thank it was so it, it was so much fun. But I want it. It kind of plays on that trope that the black character is always the first one to get killed in a horror film, right? Most definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when you got a group, who's going first? That's the thing. Exactly. You have to watch to find out who's going first. But Jay, I mean. Coming together with this group of people, what was it? How much fun was this to film? No, nah, it was, you know, it was really fun. Um, you know, I've and I have a relationship with now everybody, but uh, I've known Tim for uh, a little bit. So getting a chance to uh, work with him again and such an innovative product and such an in innovative uh, cast of folks that we have here mm -hmm. and talented, multi-talented. It's just a beautiful thing. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was so, I, uh, yeah. And that, you know, to be a part of it, this is gonna be something classic, I feel, so. I think um, so, because it, it touches on a lot of issues, for lack of a better word, but you guys do it through comedy. So it's kind of like in your face makes you think about it, but mm -hmm. you're not really pushing it at people. Most definitely, um, we feel like the comedy disarms you and then uh, the situational, the situations that arise will probably give you a little bit more of a self-reflective, like, wait, hold on, could I be inadvertently contributing to a racist society? <laughs> um, but it's not preachy in any way, shape, or form. It's just us giving you our experience as authentic as possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Melvin, working with Tim's story, what was that like? I mean, he's brought us such classics already. Yeah, 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 he's, he, he's great, you know what I mean? He, the classics come for a reason. He's the he's the captain of our ship. He's super collaborative. Uh, he lets us play. He understands what he he what he wants to do with the project. And with this one, you have to kind of toe the line of comedy and horror. Um, you know what I mean? You don't want it to be too funny where you're not scary or too scary, and you kind of lose um, just the momentum. So he he tiptoed that line uh, perfectly. There was a few moments. I mean, we all there was a variety of people that were watching this is at the media screening black mm -hmm. white young old and we all laughed some at different parts some got you know some of the jokes more than others mm -hmm. but there was also moments where i had to look away because i knew somebody or something was going <laughs> to pop up on the screen and it did get me at first where i screamed but melvin just filming a horror film like this i mean you guys had fun obviously but kind of getting into that that horror side of it what was that like um it, w it was fun. We just play every moment like honest. Yeah. You know what I mean? If there's a lot of stuff going on, we're scared. We just play scared. If it's if it's something <laughs> funny, we just play the situation. We're not really playing for comedy, and I feel like a lot of the comedy just came from those honest moments where we're uh, we serve as the voice of the audience in the film. A lot of times in these horror films, you scream at the screen. Mm -hmm. um, in this film, we're on the screen screaming the same thing. Yeah. So um, yeah. It, yeah. It, well, I love, well. I love to internet because you see a movie like Scream or these, you know, comedy horror horror movies, and the women tend to be like ditzy or not very smart. <laughs> the women in this film are like strong. You don't want to mess with them, oh, women. Most definitely. And and what I love about how Tracy and Dwayne wrote these characters is like these women are fully fleshed out. They're intelligent. Uh, they're, they're just completely different hues of blackness because we know we're not a monolith. Um, but they, they all exhibit strength in different ways. And so uh, I just love that they wrote us like some really great characters that we got to play with. They were fun. Mm -hmm. And Jay, I see you guys are taking the movie to CultureCon in LA. Absolutely. So you're kind of taking this around. What do you hope people leave after watching this and feeling and thinking? Uh, <laughs> I, hope people, um, I hope people feel like this is this is fresh. I hope they feel like uh, they know more about black culture and black people. And there are different um, that they, they, we, we're different, mm -hmm. you know, all from different parts of the spectrum. So they go home with that. And then uh, just uh, <laughs> just laughing, man. I, I hope they do that. This is just a bring everybody, bring your whole family, yeah. you know, bring you bring your mama and them, bring your uh -huh. cousin. 
hit up. Everybody will get a little bit of something Everybody else. Everybody get of a it. little bit of something. It's but, silly. Yeah. Well, we have a connection with Jay here at Great Day Washington because our producer Thomas <laughs> went to the same high school as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any River. Uh -huh. And uh, your iconic character of Mr. <laughs> Fry. Yep. You know we make you do a voice every time you come on the show. I mean, hey, it's, 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 it's if that's what it is, we got to do it. I guess. <laughs> I'll teach you to some students. <laughs> now there's a there's a there's a there's a baboon outside that has had five four locos and those have been off the market for five years so I don't even know how he got his hands on it <laughs> however know that this thing will rip your rip your rip your skin off your face and do something probably put it back on and walk around as the monkey man you know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Jay you humor yeah. us every time you're here and yeah. Jeanette Melvin so good to have you all here thank congrats you. on the blackening you can catch the blackening in theaters June 16th you're gonna have a good time